rumblings in the streets. They call me Roigos the Praised, Roigos the Good. And so they should. The Greeks are reeling, but they continue to attack like wolves about a carcass. But they have mistaken one thing. We are no carcass, and I am a lion leading the army of a conqueror. I will never let them forget it, for we will march forward and put an end to these foolish Greeks on our borders once and for all. And we are back with Adrissia, guys, where last time we basically cleaned up a lot of armies, killing a few Byzantian stacks down here, fighting at Mesembria three whole times as well, which, as you can see, it's quite devastated now, uh, and fighting back the Pontic Pentapolis hordes that have come down to try and reassert Greek sovereignty. I've just noticed that the Medi are over here. Um, likely going to attack over this way, which is a little bit annoying, I'm not going to lie. So, um, we'll see what we can do about the Belton next turn, and then we may have to just bounce back over this way to get rid of the Maidy. But I'm not too bothered about, like, losing Bessa Para. It's more sort of Philippopolis. I really wouldn't like to lose that. So, uh, let's see what we can do, but, uh, let's end the turn first, guys. And as expected, look at that. There we go. Thank you, Maidy. Thank you. Well, there we go. We got a candidate for adoption, Dezos, over here, and he went into Perinthos. So uh, we'll choose where we want him to go in a second. I don't really know what we can do about this. And look at the amount of cav they have. They have a serious amount of cav in there. Maybe declaring war on us, of course. Um, anything else that's interesting? I mean, Chios and the Seleucid Empire, that's relatively interesting. Allies between Dardania and Pontic Pentapolis, so good job we don't uh, border those boys. But that is everything there. Kabile, we got some garrison troops. Nice, and we have built in a few of our areas. I think the plan first, guys, is to take out De Belton, so they stop sieging down over here, which they can't even take anyway, because they are all just cavalry. Um, and then uh, we're going to have to bounce across. How much movement points do we have? Oh, we actually basically have enough to get back once we've taken the belt on. So I think that's a good idea. Second to that, we also should potentially get one of these boys. And I'm thinking about just like building a fort here because it will block both the river and them coming through the mountains. And just not worrying about the, the uh, west for a little while <laughs> because we have bigger fish to fry, don't we? We've got much bigger fish to fry. So let's get into the first battle, the battle for the belt on. Doesn't look too bad. They do have their own Romfire Foroy. But um, yeah, we, we've got a pretty nice army there, haven't we, guys? Let's go. A battle is never an easy thing to face, especially before breakfast. What about second never breakfast? Mind. Time enough to feast when we've driven these dogs back to the kennel. Yes, very nice. Well, they actually already have some damaged walls here, which is fantastic for us because of obviously previous sieges in this area. So uh, let's uh, let's come forward. Let's see what we can do. Unfortunately, there is a tower right next to the gates, which um, we normally we normally don't face in these sorts of battles. So that adds a little extra bit of spice, but uh, not too much. Hopefully, we can get a load of. Uh, Javis into the Greek hoplites. Well, this wall is already down, so we are going to try and make a bit of a breach in here. So uh, let's go for that, and then we'll see what we want to do. Maybe flanking around with these boys coming through the gates as well. And there we go. The Greek hoplites are coming back. Looks like we are going to fight them. They've got their Romfire full right, right in front of us. So I think we can surround these boys if we really want to. So here we go. Let's get in. Let's get in. Let's see if they decide to, uh, to turn around. And I'm going to also bring all of these boys in here too, as well as the generals. Well, there we go. Looks like we can... Uh, let's go for a war cry first, and then we'll charge them. These boys need to come in here as well and block off this flank. You can see they're getting a little bit savaged by the uh, the Greek Peltas in the back. But look at our troops streaming into the, uh, into the fort. Oh my god, guys. If you've not played a Thracian faction in this game, guys... They are so fun. Like, <laughs> I would really highly recommend playing them because they are incredibly fun. Looks like the Romfire 4 are going to go for a little um, cheeky throw there. Let's go after them. And uh, the main thing I'm worried about... Oh, they don't have cavalry, do they? All they have is the Thurio 4 up there. So um, let's see if we can go and deal with those boys. Oh, and they've started routing already. That is fantastic. 
What I'm thinking of doing is just bringing all of these boys up this way. We'll bring the cavalry in behind too. Uh, and the general can actually go around this way if they want to. Come on, boys. Let's go. Well, here we go. Straight into the center, guys. And we are going to try and get them off the town square. The 304 are going to be able to throw some jabbies themselves. Which is never good for us because of our low amount of armor. Um, but we should have a load of javelins to throw into them. And hopefully they'll come off the town square. Come on, boys. There goes the first amount. I think they're throwing them at the Greek Peltas, though, unfortunately. But now that the Greek Peltas are dead, we should now be able to throw at the Thurio Foroit. Come on, boys. All of those javelins, please. All of them. Yeah, the Thurio Foroit. Look, they do have decent armor, don't they? But now that we've uh, got rid of the first few hit points, we should be able to just shred them. Even if they don't come off the town square. Like, look at that. That's insane. Now we'll get you guys on fire at will, and you can start firing volleys. It's like a Napoleonic warfare now with javelins, isn't it, guys? Look at that. The volleys are coming in, boys. The volleys are coming in. There we go. <laughs> the poor boys. The poor boys. They're getting absolutely shredded here. There we go. We should have won this in a second. Well, there we go. As soon as they came off the uh, town square, we uh, we killed them. Nice. 93 casualties they inflicted. We killed 429. That is fantastic for a siege battle, if I don't say so myself. Very, very cool. Let's go. And once again, Debelton swaps hands back to us. I don't know the amount of times that that has happened, but it's been quite a lot, hasn't it? Let's uh, just pop out of here. Let's get those boys in there. And they are plenty happy just on normal. And then let's go and see if we can deal with the Maidy over here. In terms of the rest of our money this turn, we are going to keep on recruiting. I was talking about getting some archers. So I think, honestly... We'll just get a few more archers, probably some long spearmen in there too. And soon we're going to have to start building in Coralopolis as well, some recruitment buildings and maybe upgrading the ones in Suthopolis as well. In fact, what I'm going to do is put Suthopolis down to low so we can get this upgraded to city a little bit quicker, the same way we've done with Adrissa. Do we want to do that with Coralopolis too? No, let's, uh, let's save the money there. Um, and then let's do some building. We've not done a lot of building recently. Ooh, Hellenic Grieve. Nice. Cool. Plus one to the general's hit points for Roigos. I mean, Roigos is already OP as hell. Uh, so, yeah. He is a fantastic, fantastic bloke, isn't he? Um, and then, yeah, let's do some building. We've got the top four building currently. Besapara's under siege, but that's fine. We're going to get rid of that in a second. Philippopolis, let's go for the sewers, get some more population growth. And Kylos over here, I'm thinking sewers as well. And then Bisanthe. Yeah, we don't want any recruitment buildings in Bisanthe, so literally all we can build now is recruitment buildings. Mesembria, do we have a trade? We got law experience and Dionysus. Let's go for Dionysus. Well, here we are on to the next turn and the Maidy have brought more. More men. <laughs> Is there any mercenaries available? No, because I would quite like some extra cavalry. Let's see what they are bringing. Oh my god, look at the amount of cavalry. We could fight a night battle. Yeah, I think we will do that. Let's have a look where else. Yeah, they have uh, got rid of their siege down here on Bizia. That is fantastic for us. We've got Long Spearman in Mesembria too. So we've got two units in there. We don't necessarily need two units, do we? But um, that's fine. Also, I forgot about the general. So I'm going to have a look around where we can put the general. And then I'll be back in a second, guys. Well, I just put the general into Celembria over here. And I've also got two extra garrison units that we can use. So we're going to bring them up north for our next conquest of Pontic Pentapolis. But first things first, let's go for this. And like I say, because of that large amount of cavalry that they do have. Let's go for a night battle so no one else comes in. Not even our captain over here. It's only long swim and so it doesn't really matter. But uh, yeah, let's get into the battle, guys. They've got two generals, one with silver experience. So this isn't going to be easy and it's going to be annoying because they've got a lot of missile troops. But let's see what we can do. Let's go. Time to be a better business. Pull your armor on, shoulder your shields and mark all commands. Our foes are gathered! Some of us may soon be dead, but the survivors will drink to their memory! So, fight with honor! 
That way, you are remembered with honor. Yes, glorious speech by Roigos. Fantastic. And I am sorry, guys, if you're watching this in a bright place, it's going to be very difficult to see. So uh, I am sorry about this, but this was the best way of getting rid of them. Is that their army over there? Like, I can hardly see as well. So <laughs> this is going to be interesting. And as usual, the AI is being semi-idiotic by going, like, halfway up a hill uh, and setting up in a completely weird place. I think the AI is trying to hook box here, honestly. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's keep on going. Let's uh, speed this up slightly. And hopefully we can sort of get rid of, like, you can see the edge of the map is literally right there. So, yeah, and we're going to have all our cavalry on this flank for now. And, uh, yeah, we're now in here. Let's go and deal with them. They do have that Hippocontisti, but I am not worried about Hippocontisti. I'm not going to lie, guys. What is all this? This is all, like, Peltas and stuff. Are they going to go for the charge? They got the Light Lancers into the fight. Let's see if we can bring, yeah, the Light Lancers literally just ran away. Let's see if we can bring some troops into this fight as well. This is a monstrous cavalry engagement over on this flank. They are trying to bring Peltas and everything towards this, but they've kind of backed themselves in a corner here, unfortunately for them. There we go, General. Look at that. The General's ranks very, very nice indeed. Uh, we've got Hippocontisti over there. I am worried about that, General. Are they going to withdraw? Yes, they are. They are. They're withdrawing. Go, go, go. Go, men, go. Go, go, go. Right then. Let's straight in the back of some of these boys and let's try and catch them as they're doing it. Well, there we go. We didn't manage to kill either of the generals, but we only lost 84 men, killed 552. That withdrawal was stupid from them. It just allowed us to kill pretty much all of the army. So a glorious victory once again, my friends. And I'm assuming we can uh, knock these troops back. There we go. So we're going to attack them. They shouldn't be able to retreat. What do they have? Oh, it's just more cavalry again. Honestly, we should just do this with our cavalry. Um, we should still win with our cavalry, but yeah, especially with Roigos. But let's go. I mean, it's going to be a nice, easy battle, isn't it? And this time it's a little lighter, but they do have a massive hill advantage <laughs> again. So yeah, this is going to be interesting, but uh, let's uh, let's get on with it. We should be able to just deal with all of these guys just with our cavalry. Well, I have brought the infantry along just in case. So we are just going to basically bring the infantry just in case we uh, we need them. And we're just going to go for the charge. The infantry is getting a little bit tired now. So what I'm going to do is just halt most of them. We'll get you guys off the dog leg and try to use mainly cavalry. But um, yeah, it looks like their goddamn uh, ability from up there is really good to throw where... Uh, Javis, so maybe we'll just go straight into the bodyguards. I'm not too bothered about fighting these uh, these lighter troops um, because uh, we're going to struggle catching up to them, aren't we? So let's go. We are losing a lot of men due to their own missiles, but like I say, we just need to knock these guys away. And I don't think we're going to be able to kill that general. Are they withdrawing? No, no, no. But it, it's very annoying uh, what they're doing right now. And the other army is all the way back there, so that's going to be interesting to fight. When we get round to it, hopefully we can break these boys straight in the Light Lancers. Is that Light Lancers? No, that's Hippocontisti. Roigos and everything. It is an absolute clusterfuck over here right now, but we should be able to break the... Uh, come on, guys. Like You should be able to kill the Light Lancers a lot quicker than that. Hmm. Maybe we've, uh, we've done a bit of an oopsie here. I probably shouldn't have grouped all the troops up like this. But, uh, yeah, what can you do? Mistakes were made. <laughs> well, there we go. One of the Hippocontisti has gone. So has this. Uh, so has the Light Lancers. Now they're all breaking. Now they're all going. Problem is, we're not going to be able to catch these guys um, at all. And I think these boys probably will withdraw. We didn't actually lose too many troops. But uh, what I'll do is I'll send these boys after them. We'll send these guys here. And we'll just set up ready for that second army. Well, here we go. That secondary army is in range now, boys. So uh, let's just try and see if we can catch them. Um, our Hippocontisti did take most of the losses here. An absolute brunt of the losses. But we can just go back to Adrissia after this and retrain them would be the best thing to do. So let's see if we can get rid of these uh, Light Lancers. Getting the Javis in before the charge. Oh, look at this beautiful battle map with these trees. Absolutely glorious. And we should just destroy uh, the Mehdi over here. I knew this was going to happen at some point, that they were going to come across, because they always do that. Oh, there goes the general. 
But I was hoping it would be put off a little bit longer until we've dealt with Pontic Pentapolis. But I am not bothered about going west at the moment, guys. We've got to secure our eastern foothold first, haven't we? Well, there we go, guys. We actually lost more men than I expected. 160, which is definitely more, probably mainly due to missiles. But overall, a good victory still. Let's get off this map. We have pushed the Maidy back. So then let's see if we can build a fort here. We absolutely can. That is fantastic. Is there anyone we can put in the fort for now and just leave them there? Um, well, what I'm thinking is if we do that, leave that 121 guys because they don't need retraining. And we will go back for retraining. We had so much movement this turn. Wow, loads of movement. Did not expect us to have that much movement. Militus has uh, has jumped out as well. Good. Anything of interest here? Pergamon and the Seleucids. That's good for us because that might take away some of their full stacks that were uh, hanging around over here. Which, in fact, it does look like it's done that. In terms of anything else, no. Nothing of real interest. Oh, the Seleucids broke an alliance with them and just declared war on them, betrayed them. That does not bode well for us. <laughs> um and then allies, Thracians and Pontic Ventapolis. Oh, that's not good because that means the Thracians are going to declare war on us some point soon. But uh, with the rest of our money, we are still recruiting. So let's do a few more buildings. Vesapara, we actually have enough money now to build proper buildings. So for Vesapara, let's go for the sewers. Apollonia Pontos over here. Let's also go for the sewers. It's going to be rinse and repeat with most of these places, honestly. Uh, Bisanthe, let's just go for the market. There we go. Um, we don't really need to build anything there. Let's go for Debelton as well because it is a large town. And again, sewers. <laughs> Anything else of interest? Maybe a shrine to Dionysus down here. So let's go for that. And again, let's end the turn. And Byzantium wants a ceasefire. Absolutely. Oh, There's no point us fighting anymore. Let's see if they want a trade right. There we go. What about an alliance? No. <laughs> and Gortin is destroyed. That means Crete is starting to unify under someone. Um, I don't know who, but someone. And Pontic Ventapolis did attack us up here. We have those two units in there. So I'm thinking we just go and stand here and wait to be sieged down. Because, yeah, I do want to um, retrain all of these boys. Uh, how much money do we have? Right, we're going to have to combine a few of these guys first. So let's do that. And then that. And we actually do need to retrain them anyway to get extra bonuses to their armor and all that sort of thing and we will train we want another rom fire for right i think so <laughs> always guys always we always want more rom fire for right and we've got a long spearman out this way which we can send across glorious let's have a look at anything else that did happen at the end turn i thought i saw someone go in here so someone does have a spy yeah the thracian so that is very very telltale sign that they are going to attack us Philippopolis, we got this boy, so let's go and swap them out. And like I say, I'm not bothered about the um, the Maidy attacking this fort, just as long as they don't get our regions over here. Ooh, and we got this in Suthopolis. Fantastic. That is very nice. That is going to help us out a lot. How much money does that give? A thousand a turn. Oof, that is fantastic. <laughs> let's build in there. Anything else that we want to build? Probably in Adrissa. We would like to build. And I'm thinking we just go for the military shrine here. I mean, sewers though. <laughs> sewers will grow this place quicker because we are recruiting here a lot. So let's go for that first and then we'll get the military shrine. Madutenopolis over this way. Let's go for the market. Philippopolis. I'm thinking, hmm. Do we go for Dionysus or Hebelsis? I think Dionysus overall is just going to be better and that is all our money again guys so next turn we'll uh, we will send our army north once again some of them will have the upgrade some of them not but overall we'll be in a good position and strangely enough the tribali want to become our protector i don't know how much they have been falling back but they're not at war with anyone currently oh, thanks. and like the tribali are pretty big so i mean I'll accept it, definitely. It secures our eastern, uh, sorry, our western flank, doesn't it? So, wow. Let's have a look at the Tribali then. And they just have all of this land up here. They are now bordering Tylus, but they've got loads of little armies 
dotted around. So, yeah, pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that secures our flank across this way for the time being until they decide that they don't want to be a protectorate anymore, which will happen at some point. Anything else of interest on here? It doesn't look like it at all, apart from the Seleucids attacking Militus as soon as they have popped out. So <laughs> there we go. What can you do? And they've got arm uh, they've got weapon upgrades now, these boys. So 20 melee attack for some of these units is um, pretty insane, I'm going to say pretty insane i think we just miss out the um the army's sieging here and just go for a desos i think that's going to be the option let's pop that long spearman in there too in case they do decide to siege it down they've got a singular ram so that's not going to be too bad and you can see the thracians definitely are gearing up for an attack and once again we are evidenced with the nature of the Idrisian campaign of having to just bounce around between different fronts constantly because we're just a big circular blob <laughs> with no natural borders on these sides. So, yeah, it's uh, a little bit annoying, but what can you do? What can you do, my friends? Let's um, keep on going with more archers. We can actually get Hippocontistae in there now. What are we building? Ah, we're building the third level. Fantastic. I think at this point, we need to start thinking about having a secondary recruitment hub where we can recruit from uh, Corylopolis or Suthopolis, uh, just in case Adrissa, Adrissa gets taken, because if it does, that level 5 recruitment will be destroyed automatically by the AI uh, on taking Adrissa, and we might have the army too far north to do anything about it, so yeah, uh, we definitely are not in the best of positions in terms of that, in terms of recruitment, so we need to sort that out ASAP. Right, in terms of the rest of our stuff, guys, let's do a little bit more building. We're going to build from the bottom this time to make sure all of our newly conquered la lands have some good growth going in them. Uh, Byzantium, probably nothing there that's that interesting to us. Uh, Perinthos, though, the tavern is always fantastic, so let's go for that. Celembria, probably nothing too interesting. Uh, same with you. So, yeah. What about Apollonia Pontos? Hmm. Dionysus as well, probably a good option. Bizia, we can get the market. And then I don't believe there's anything else apart from Bessapara over here. And again, just Dionysus. So let's end the turn, guys. And there we go. They actually got two mercenary units, Trollian Infantry and Hippocontistae. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I, I don't think we can win this ultimately, guys. But, hmm, let's see what we can do. No reinforcements. Why are we not getting any... Oh, they actually attacked this unit rather than sieging anything down. So let's retreat. And there we go. Now they're going to attack, which makes perfect sense. So that was a good move by them. But yeah, that secondary army is horror. We really don't want to have to deal with that. So hopefully we can destroy the ram with these archers. Um, it's unlikely but there's a potential for it. So let's actually play this. Well, like I said, guys, the only hope is that we can uh, we can destroy the ram with our archers. So let's see what we can do. And somehow the other army had a ram as well. I didn't even realize that. So yeah, we're just not going to win this. But um, we obviously want to kill as many troops as we can. And we're not even shooting at the ram. Okay. Okay, well, there's nothing really we can do then, is there? Well, let's hope the Skilltron just holds for as long as possible. But there we go. We're, they're getting absolutely shredded. So, yeah, this is just not going to be fun. Okay, that's our general. I was going to say, if we killed one of their generals, that would be amazing. But, yeah, no. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. We're just getting absolutely destroyed. Oh, no. How many did we kill? How many did we kill? I mean, we killed some troops. Like... We killed 80 troops. I mean, they will have actually recovered some of those losses, but it's not too bad, is it? It's not too bad. <laughs> but that was brutal. Well, through their stupidity, they have left the door open for a drawout battle where we can clean up all three of those armies in one go. And they only occupied Mesembria, which is fantastic. Good. And we got another Romfire Foroy in Adrissa. Honestly, at this point, I'm kind of considering building up Maybe another half stack. So I think we'll leave them in Adrissa for now. Um, and keep on recruiting up in these regions when we can. Yeah, I think that's going to be the option. I love the Trabali being our protectorate already as well. <laughs> that is fantastic. Um, yeah, we spent quite a bit of money already. 
So let's... Uh, yeah, we're going to leave those boys behind. And we're going to go for that attack there. And they are going to stand and fight. The main thing that we need to do is let all of the armies come in. So we don't give them an opportunity to withdraw. So we'll just chill out to start with. And then we'll get on to all of these boys. Let's go. Well, here we are. We've nicely set up now, guys. And uh, we're basically just going to wait for all of the armies to kind of get together, I think, is going to be the best option. So we can try and kill them all without any one of them withdrawing away from the slaughter. Well, I think we're in a good position now. We do have to be wary because look at the amount of cav they have again. Three of those units are going to be General's Bodyguards as well. Main thing I want to do is just kind of bait them forward. See if they will react to us rather than us having to assault them. Because, of course, it's a little bit harder that way around. So if we can bait them forward with our archers, that would be fantastic. And it looks like that has worked rather well. So, uh, And we didn't even fire a single, uh, single missile. Come on, boys. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. And it looks like the Thurio Foroy Cavalry are going to go for the charges here. They are very light cavalry, so they shouldn't be too bad. In fact, let's get all of these guys off fire at will because we're going to kill our own men by doing that. Looks like they broke instantly. There we go. These guys are not withdrawn. Oh, my. Why fight the battle if you're going to withdraw, guys? Like, why fight it? Oh, my God. So annoying. <laughs> so very annoying. And we did end up losing a few of our cavalry because I managed to chase down the Trollian infantry who stood for a while. So, um... Yeah, I mean, we've got rid of the trolley and infantry. That's literally all we did. So now they're all going to be in the city. Great. <laughs> and as I said, they have all gone into the city. Luckily, though, it is a Greek style city and the cavalry is going to do awful in there for them. So, um, yeah, that should be fantastic for us. We'll also try and use the long spearmen against the cavalry, which will really help. Right then, I think we're in a pretty darn good position. Oh, we've got even these guys to fill in there as well. Now we have a full stack. Wow, I know like two of the units are garrison troops pretty much, but that's still excellent. That is still excellent. And uh, Adrissa did build something. Anything of interest? I think the, the roads, honestly, they cost a lot, but it's worth getting them early to build up that trade going forward. And then in Diopolis, let's go for the sewers. At some point, we will change all of these places down to low, but we're still so poor currently that there's, there's no point in going low um, on some of these places that we do have on high at the moment. So uh, let's end the turn again, guys. Now the maidy want a ceasefire as well. Oh, thanks. Well, that was dumb of you, really, wasn't it, it maidy? Was well done. <laughs> and Pontic Pentapolis want a ceasefire for 600 denarii. No, if you were offering me like... 10,000 or something, I'd consider it, but not 600. <laughs> well, another glorious turn is over, my friends. And uh, we are getting some attuned governors. We're getting some archers in Kabile too. Fantastic. We will send them across at some point. But first things first, let us get on with this battle. So now over in this area, we should be kind of safe from the Maidy. I am considering, though, building a watchtower up here. I just don't know how far we can go with our guy being able to come back. So let's just build one there. That actually has really good sight on it. Let's build another one. They do cost a lot of money, but honestly, I think it's worth it. We'll be able to see anyone coming across. And we can also see the Antigonids now. So yeah, the Maidy and the Denthalate. The Denthalate don't actually border us, so we're not going to get attacked by them. But the Maidy definitely can come and attack us again. So um yeah, let's come back. Oh, we didn't want to go in Besapara, did we? Oh, no. Well, uh, let's just pop that down to high for now. Let's get on to Mesembria then. It's going to be more brutal, I think, than maybe we would expect with these troops. But I'm hoping we can just use our long spearmen for the most of it. So let's go. Oh my god, look at the amount of uh, cavalry they have. <laughs> this is rather funny. I don't know what they're going to do with that cavalry, though. Let's uh, let's just react to what they do. Honestly, I kind of want the Thurio Foroy boys in there. And then we'll just defend the backside with these boys. I'm thinking about bringing you in there as well. And uh, you over here, too. And uh, let's see what we can do. I mean, that is... Oh, that is the hoplites. Okay, so we do actually want some good troops in here. To deal with them. So let's get these three 
in over here. And uh, then we should be good to fight them. And here go the hoplites, guys. So we're going to bring our uh, javelin boys over this way. We're also going to bring these three in with silver experience. Very nice indeed. And hopefully they will be able to uh, fire at them without charging. Yep, they do like to do that. Will you fire? At least these two will fire. This guy's just decided, yeah, it's because they're impetuous. So let's see if we can fire at them. And we should be able to break them pretty easily. There we go. Oof. Oof. That is not what they like. Not what they like. And they've already broken. Very nice. Very, very nice. And now they have a general's bodyguard that's come into the mix. And he has broken straight away too. So let's get our... Okay, what do we have here? We've got archers and all that sort of thing. All that gubbins. Let's go and deal with them. We've got Prodromoy coming down this way. Who are going to fight the Ronfire for Roy, unfortunately. But yeah, these guys should stop them. And more cavalry's coming down this way. More Greek generals' bodyguards. Interesting, interesting. Let's uh, let's keep on going with this. You guys, long spearmen, just hold for a second. Just hold. And there goes the progenoy. Instantly broken. Instantly broken. Let's see if we can break these boys too. There we go. And yeah, we're in a pretty good position now, I think, guys. So now all that is left is pretty much cavalry. So, yeah, we're going to try and use the long spear and as much as we can. Well, here we go. We are fighting the Greek archers over this side, and they have brought their Zistaphoroi round. So let's see where the long spearmen are. Okay, quite a lot of them are here with their spears. So uh, we should be able to beat them back a little bit better. Yeah, look at them. They are just br They are just dying. They are just dying. I don't know who they're trying to attack. Maybe the back ones, and that's caused them to all to die um, on the charge there. But... Very nice indeed. We're in a fantastic position. Well, we are slowly but surely just whittling them down one unit at a time. Problem is they keep breaking and then we can't catch them. So, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's fine. But, yeah, we're going to have to do something else, I think, to, uh, to grab their attention. Well, here we go. We have their general's bodyguard, their big bodyguard, over this way. He is now breaking. So once we've broken him, honestly, I'm considering just charging the men in because I think... Uh, yeah, we don't need to worry about the town square if they're all going to be like this. So they're all really crap troops. So yeah, we should be good now. We should be good. Let's go. And then let's speed this up. That was rather... Oh, oh my God. Did you see the way he died? <laughs> Poor guy. He literally got launched off his horse. Launched away by the horse. There we go. Let's kill all these guys. Come on. And then we should be done. Very nice. Very methodical battle, this, actually. And there we go. We only lost 153. And most of those losses will have been the Long Spearman, as you can see, and the Peltas. Yeah, that Long Spearman lost a lot of troops. But a glorious victory, my friends. Let's go. Well, let's just occupy Mesembria because, of course, it's been... <laughs> It's been through a few hands, shall we say. <laughs> Let's um, get that long spearman into there. Let's see if we can just hold it with 73. Again, not too happy. What about just one long spearman? So now they're happy. And if we remove the 73, 68%. That's absolutely fine. There's no problem with that at all. If we can build the Shrine to Dionysus, they will be plenty happy. Now let's get on to Adesos. Oh, hello. Is that a drawout battle or not? Mm, no, I don't think it is. Well, I would prefer them to attack us. So let's get on to Adesos there, like that. There we go. And now we can kind of see Dionysop Dionysopolis over here. And yeah, they've, they've not got much left, have they, guys? They've got about three, four settlements. Let's see if we can uh, destroy them. Roygos the Praised. What a name. That is a great name. Roygos the Praise. He's a living legend now as well. Absolutely glorious. What a uh, what a leader that we have at our feet right here. Fantastic. Anything? We got that in Kabile. Let's go for another one. And you're still getting that. You guys are getting those. Cool. Let's uh, let's keep building then, guys. Let's keep building, and let's go for the sewers. Let's go for... Oh, Bessapara. What do we want in Bessapara? Probably the tavern. Probably keep grow growing this place. And that is it. We are not building everywhere, but we're building in as many places as we can. Another turn. Let's go. Now the Antigonids want trade rights. I don't even know whether we border oh, them. Thanks. So, I don't know. What about an alliance? They are allied to the Seleucids, but no, they won't accept it. 47 relationship. Oh, well. 
Well, guys, I think we can afford to auto-resolve Odessus over here. We only lost 24 men. Perfect. Let's also enslave Odessus. They did have a lot of population, so hopefully that's going to help our growth in other places. The Antigonids and the Illyrians have broken their alliance. Interesting. That trade agreement does make me worry that they are going to attack us, though. Um, <laughs> but yeah, there's not much we can do about that, is that? Let's uh, keep on pushing up in the north. 60% happiness. And I'm willing to keep the military buildings in Odessos over here. Hmm. But when we get further north, we might delete them. In fact, I don't think we need them in both of these places. So let's just get rid of the ones in Mesembria because there's less of them. That's going to give us some extra cash. Ooh, instantly down to 44% there as well. I wonder if we just try and make them happy with something like that. That's okay. Not too bad. And then we're going to go straight on to Dionysopolis. Dionysopolis, yeah. Dionysopolis, yeah. That, I don't know. That For some reason, that word in my head just doesn't make sense. But <laughs> obviously it does. But yeah, it's a slightly weird word in my head, I've got to say. Um, but yeah, let's keep on recruiting over here. More of these boys more of the archers and more of them try and build up that army it's also going to dissuade anyone from attacking us at adrissa over here which is of course very very helpful so let's see what else we can do let's build from the bottom this time so like from byzantium okay byzantium nothing really worth it at this point in time same over here same with celembria hmm uh, let's just build roads there. It's going to allow us to move a little bit quicker between the areas. And then over here, tavern is fantastic. What else do we want? Again, another tavern. We're just building We're just building pubs, basically, guys. So <laughs> let's go. And yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that as an auto-resolve next time. You can go back into there and you make them very happy. Fantastic. Let's end the turn, guys. Ooh, interesting. We have a war between the Pionians... And the Denthalate. We can no longer maintain both alliances. Collect your, uh, select the tick to maintain your alliance with the Denthalate. But it does look like they're probably going to die. Um, but we don't border either. So I'm just going to click tick. Town expands. Celembria now expands. Oh, nice. Into a large town. Fantastic. That is good. We got rioting in Odessos. Yeah. Unfortunate that. Unfortunate. Oh, we do already have a shrine here. Let's get rid of that and build our own shrine, which will be the shrine to Dionysus. Very nice. Very nice. And there we go. Mesembri is now happy, so we can kind of chuck these guys further along. Um, do we have any more garrison troops in here? I mean, we've got the archers that could be garrison troops, but I think we'll send one more up there just in case. Um, and we'll also probably send these guys along too. Right, let's have a look at what we're doing. Alliance in Tatters. Yep, transgression against Tylus. We've done that many times, so they're not going to be too happy about us, but who cares? And anything interesting? Byzantium, no. Scordisci, no. And nothing interesting in there at all. Kibile is building more archers. And now we have built that in Corolopolis, which is fantastic. Let's see if we can build the next level. It costs a lot of money. But it's uh, definitely going to be worth it. So we can get more on fire for it from there. And then we'll try and get stables. What about Suthopolis? Because I would like to do the same thing here. Let's get stables instead. So we can get cavalry from that over there. Let's uh, auto resolve this one as well. Another 12 losses and then slave. And that has got him as a lavish aristocrat now. He's not got much public security. So if anyone has any... Um, <laughs> Um, what do you call it? Assassins. Then we're going to be screwed. But I don't think anyone will do. And there we go. Let's destroy that. That's not going to make them too happy. But we'll also destroy that in here too. To give us some extra cash. And allow us to build Shrine to Dionysus. Which is what we're building everywhere. I assume they're not going to fight that one. There we go. And this is all they have left, boys. This is literally all they have left. Very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Anything else that we want to build? Madu Tenopolis over here. Let's go for the sewers. And hopefully we can get some city soon. Like, how far away is Adrissa from a city? Oh, it's like double. That's not good. Byzantium, still quite a long way. Celembria. Perinthos, still a long way. 
Anywhere that's slightly closer, like, no. But what I'm going to do is put Philippopolis down to low. Also going to put you down to low, Coralopolis, because you are going to be a good one for us to grow. And, yeah, the rest of them can stay sort of as they are currently. There we go. Nice. We just need to enslave a few bigger cities, I think. Or conquer some areas that have bigger cities. Good. Good, 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 good. Ideally, we want to go straight on to Istria over there. Uh, Histria, should I say. And go straight up into the north uh, with that army. I am still, though, very worried about the fact that if someone down south now attacks us... It's going to take us more than one turn to get back to Adrissa to defend it. So, yeah, hopefully we would, in that case, be able to get some sort of mercs. But, I don't know, I'm not holding my breath for that. Let's uh, end the turn. And the Gete want an alliance. Absolutely, I am going to take that. Fantastic. Oh, Very nice indeed. Well, here we go again, guys. It looks like they're sieging down this Tylus settlement. They have these boys here as well. What are they doing? Like... It's kind of strange, but it's okay. Let's see if we can get rid of those boys from there. We can actually, so we'll get them there. Let's sort the army out so they take all the losses in this auto-resolve, because, like I say, there's no point fighting these anymore. We lost 30 men. There we go. And let's also enslave over here. That should really help with our growth still. Fantastic. And then we go for their final city. Which, are they happy? No, they're, they're decidedly unhappy. Do we want to keep the military buildings in there? Hmm, let's see what military buildings they have in here. Let's have a look. Let's get that in there. And do they have any military buildings? Yes, they do. So, I think we'll keep Mesembria and Thomas with their military buildings in case we want some Greek AOR at some point. But it also means if they do take this back, they won't be able to recruit from it too, which is, of course, very good for us. Let's get rid of the Temple of Artemis. So that's going to make them even more unhappy. And let's go for Temple of Dionysus. And then you guys, can you actually get in there? That looks like you're going to get stuck by the army. So do that. Go there. 55%. That's acceptable. Acceptable. We had a flash flood in Otingia, not not in our lands. Good, 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 good. Right then, let's see what else we've got going on. Adrissa is continuing to recruit. Fantastic. And we can now get the uh, long spearmen in there. Let's keep on going with archers over here. And let's keep on going with long spearmen there too. Fantastic. Anything else? Besapara got a building. Let's just have a look through this way. This is better, isn't it? Uh, Diopolis, which is actually a very good settlement for us currently. Hmm. Let's go for the tavern there. Besapara. I think Besapara could honestly do with roads. So that if we can, if we need to get over this way, we can do. Because I think the road goes through the hills. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Maybe there's no road through the hills, but I guess we'll find out. Um, Philippopolis over here. Yes, we want, we do want recruitment from Philippopolis, don't we? Because we can get the, uh, the Bessian Swordsmen here, which are a decent unit, you know. How are they versus the Romfire Foroi? So 24, 15, 14. And these guys are 22, 14, 14. So actually not as good, but I think level 3 we can get the DI Swordsmen. Which are 30, 17, 17. So they're a fantastic unit. So yeah, we do want to keep on doing that there. Fantastic. Uh, Kabile, let's go for the market. And then I think that'll be everything. Actually, no. Busier can get the Temple of Dionysus. Fantastic. Good. Right then, guys. Let's go one more turn. And uh, that'll be everything, I think, for this episode today. Well, Tylus wants an alliance. And that will break our alliance with the Gete and break their alliance with Pontic Pentapolis, but I think I'd rather have the Gete as an, as an ally right now. Well, we had rioting in Calatis. Next turn, though, it should be fine. We're now a strong regional power, which will have reduced our income there as well. Very bad for us, unfortunately, but that's fine. Um, we've done a lot of buildings, loads of buildings, actually. Fantastic. Good, 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 good. And we're still recruiting 
down here, aren't we? Awesome, 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 awesome. Let's keep on going. Um, looks like the Dental Arte survived the attack from Pionia, which is kind of surprising. I would like the Trevali to attack Tylus. Like, cause I don't want to have to come inland here. I'd prefer to stay on the coast and take the richer cities. But, yeah, I think what we'll do, we'll finish off on this battle, guys. And that will basically be Pontic Pentapolis dead. So, that'll be good. Well, here we go. The last stand of Pontic Pentapolis. I believe, anyway. They might have another settlement somewhere. But, wherever it is, we don't currently see it if they do. Well, here we go. We're starting to actually fire on them with the archers. Hopefully, that's going to drag them off. But uh, I'm not holding my breath because I don't think the archers can fire too well. So let's see if we can come slightly forward and see what happens. Looks like they did actually lose maybe someone there. I don't know. We might have to try and drag them off in another way, like with these boys perhaps. Maybe here. Maybe we can do it now. There we go. There comes the general anyway. Oh. Looks like we managed to hit them with some arrows. Fantastic. Ideally, I would like you guys further back, but... Hmm. Well, I don't know what we're going to do about this. Maybe just charge in with these boys. Ideally, you guys off that. I want you to fire at them and see what we can do here. And that's another one of their kings dead, guys. <laughs> that is another one of their kings dead. Come back, come back, come back. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Come back, come back, come back, come back, guys. Come back. We don't want to be hit by uh, those boys anymore. Looks like they are going to come off, though. If they do come off, like, we will uh, come back on and uh, get rid of them. There we go. They're going for the charge. There we go. Let's see if we can get them. Well, guys, it looks like we aren't going to be able to drag them off the town square. So we are just going to chill and uh, try and surround these 3040. And we're just going to have to grind through them, I think. Well, it actually took, like, no time at all to grind through them. They're fantastic. I mean, hardly lost any men. Oh, my God. Is that the last stand of Pontic Pentapolis? Let's find out, guys. And let us enslave Thomas as well. And that is them dead. Yes. Come on. Absolutely glorious, friends. Absolutely glorious. Let's get rid of the shrine to Zeus. Uh, get a shrine to Dionysus in there. <laughs> And yeah, I don't know what we want to do now, though. That's the interesting thing, because this army definitely is strong enough to take on, say, these boys up here if we want to take them on. Anything like that. Do we have the ability to get a spy in any of these places we do? Let's get a spy there. What about a spy here? We can get a spy there as well. So let's get a couple of spies, maybe three spies, so we can see what's going on fantastic we've destroyed that faction and roigos has even more retinue now so his general's bodyguard is going to be even bigger and let's use that juicy money to do some final bits of building boys nice 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 i think apollonia pontos honestly let's just go for the roads um yeah we will probably build a few roads in some of these places now that there's not so much to build for them um, like up here though, we definitely can expand our building options. Adesos, I think we do build that. That's going to allow us to get Akontistai up this way so that we can send them as garrison troops too. We do have you boys, don't we? Yeah, so you want to come up there. There we go. And yeah, we, there is a few rebel stacks around of their troops. But I'm hoping like Tylus, for example, will deal with that one. Maybe the Thracians will deal with these other ones. But I think we're going to end it there, guys. So if you did enjoy, a like and a subscribe would be massively appreciated. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.